Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video, and we are talking about these annoying bases that have the town hall near the outside. How do you take them on? Um, because they're, they're tricky. I, you know, I have trouble with them too, uh, but it's town hall 13, town hall 12. You see these mainly where the town hall itself is actually a defense. Uh, the defender puts the town hall in this kind of corner setup it has the Eagle and the Infernos for the most part opposite. We'll see a few different variations of it, a couple of Town Hall 12s as well, um, and really get an idea of how you want to attack this type of base. And I think Hybrid is a great thing to bring against it. Um, it you can use Yeti Smash, you can use Pekka Smash. There's options for sure, but um, Queen Charging it is a safe thing to do um, if you're comfortable doing the Queen Charge. And one thing I love is, you know, you can tell there's a lot of damage there. There's all three of the heroes. There is um, the CC, the Town Hall, uh, plus some just regular defensive buildings like the Warden that does quite a bit of damage. And because of that, lots of rages are needed. So uses the Wall Breakers, just knows, okay, I'll get one of these walls open. And he does, which opens up a scatter shot. Doesn't open up the Eagle. The Queen is not taking out a lot of real estate, but she's taking out some important high value buildings like the town hall, gets a scatter shot, gets the heroes. And um, because there's hogs on the back end, they're going to be able to go a little wider and get the defenses that otherwise miners wouldn't get. So that's the power of the hybrid, especially with the royal champ in there. Um, you know she's not going to be skipping any defenses along the way. So because the pathing's a little wider, not a huge deal. Still get in there, take out the eagle, and continue through these other inferno towers. And the nice use of the siege barracks um, to kind of keep those miners, keep everything in, tank, get more damage going, uh, clean up for time. All the benefits of the Siege Barracks, plus those hogs come out and help with everything. So good value, still has both heroes' abilities there as this one wraps up. Um, so that's a surefire thing to do. Not every base will look exactly like that, but most of them you can kind of wall break open that top little gap there, uh, that top piece of walls, come in with the Queen Charge, use a few test looms because there's probably Seeking Air Mines, get the value, then start the hybrid from whatever side you can, depending on where your Queen goes. It might not always be a sure thing. Um, and we see this base at Town Hall 12 as well, so let's talk about it. Also, one thing on the last attack, and this was very early on, but I wanted to point it out when I was watching these replays initially, is the Queen Charge started right where the Royal Champ was. The Royal Champ was right at the edge of the map. Um, and in that case, I would drop like a Giant or something, then the Queen and the Healers, just to avoid having to use that Rage, because... I'm all about trying to avoid using the Rage on the Queen Walk, if you can, by supporting with little stuff. And that's a situation where you can, because um, he dropped his Queen, his healers, and the Rage right away, because the Queen was automatically engaging the defensive Royal Champ. So I would say in that situation, it's better off dropping a Giant or even two, then your Queen, and then as the Giants die, drop the healers to avoid a healer switch onto the Giants, which might be bad. It might draw the healers in too much. Um, but just be a little more creative if you can. Uh, to avoid having to use that rage, it'll it'll definitely help later to have that extra spell to keep your queen up. Um, this is another good one using the warden walk because often, if I can pause real quick, um, it's often either side of the town hall. It's so wide, and you want to cut that down a little bit. So the warden walk is going to help take out. This is a very important building to get down, just to help kind of narrow down that second layer, um, not the trash on the outside, but that next layer that's inside the walls. If the Warden can take out one or two buildings from there, it'll really narrow things down. Then you use the King Funnel on the other side. And don't underestimate, um, this base wasn't as bad, but a lot have big Tesla farms by the Town Hall. So use an Ice Golem, use a Valk with your King. Those are good things to use. The Valk will help with Skelly Traps and stuff. The Ice Golem obviously tanks and then gets the Freeze. Um, so use that to help your King and make sure you get the Funnel uh, well done on the other side. And then, you know, Warden walk into an entry like this. And then from there, you can do lots of different stuff depending on the base. Here, um, this was very creative and maybe even a little late on the battle blimp uh, just because might as well get down as soon as possible with that eagle taken out. Um, it was definitely separate from everything else. Uh, but check this out. Also, some bat spells to um, take out that multi-inferno. And I like how he didn't use a freeze on the multi-inferno because all five of its... Um, 
inferno beams were being tanked by healers or something. Um, so if that's the case, just drop those bat spells. Unless you see them getting taken out, you know, then panic and drop the freeze. But don't panic if you don't need to, and uh, just use the, uh, the benefit of what's already tanking. Uh, saves the freezes for the back end, and um, very well done. I'm loving how people, and you saw this in my last video if you watched that, how people are using this bat spell to really get good value these days. And this one, this base had three multi-infernos, so you know you can be creative and use it not just against those bases with all the single infernos, um, but also against this type of base. Uh, so tons of P.E.K.K.A.s left up, just very systematic destruction of this base, and um, fun to watch for sure. So that's another way to do it, and that can apply to Town Hall 13, just as the hybrid can come down and apply to Town Hall 12, although I'd say the, the benefit that you have at Town Hall 13 is having that Royal Champ, which is very, very helpful for the hybrid, because she's going to act um, on some of like the wider spaced parts of the base, helping to take out those defenses that might otherwise get missed, even by the Hogs. Um, so that's the benefit of Town Hall 13 using the hybrid. But that being said, you know, the strategies are pretty transferable between Town Hall 12 and Town Hall 13. Once again, going with the Warden Walk here, and um, this is another creative attack. We have the uh, Battle Blimp being used, and I think um, oftentimes it is worth it to, because, uh, how do I say this? You can never fully predict how things are going to path um, going on to the back end, which is why the Battle Blimp can be good to take out the back end eagle. On this attack, um, using the battle blimp to take out the town hall. And that's a very interesting move because the town hall is already pretty exposed. And typically when you use that yeti bomb and the blimp, you're not really, you're, you're typically trying to get some type of pathing carved out. Um, also, I love the adding the queen to the warden walk because he was dealing with the CC. It'll take the warden forever to get through that. He's already getting low. So just pop the queen down, and the warden kind of helped funnel the queen. He took out these buildings initially, then add the queen, the healer switch, and then you're good to go. A little trickier than it was. Then uh, it it looks a lot easier here than it, it might be. So be a little careful, um, just because the healers can switch weird and the queen pathing can get weird as well. So you got to be a little careful, but it worked out here. Um, but as I was saying, getting the town hall down is also going to help with the pathing going into the base, otherwise the town hall is awkwardly out here. Um, it's a little bit tricky to take that out as you enter, but it was kind of done in the last attack, so it's not like it's impossible. Um, in this case, the th <laughs> most of the troops do walk anyway, uh, which was kind of funny considering that Battle Blimp was used. Once again, healers are tanking the Multi-Inferno, doesn't use the freeze, very nice, and the healers are going to survive because the uh, bats take that out. Now you'll see on the back end here, try to show everything at the same time, um, Golem to tank that wizard tower just because it's tanking four other defenses, five other defenses, and those are archer towers, Teslas mainly, which would otherwise be hurting the bat. So it's worth it to put down a whole golem and just make sure that tanking's done because an ice golem would have got destroyed in that situation. But it does use an ice golem on the back end wizard tower over here where there's less DPS and um, the you don't you can't use two golems really. Uh, one golem's enough to get tanking for most of that section. Um, so I like the use of the golem to tank for the bats, and um, very creative once again, uh, use of the bats there. They pathed around the base pretty nicely, then there's still P.E.K.K.A.s alive, which is typically what would be your kind of finishing troop. Hopefully your queen is still up and your P.E.K.K.A.s are still up, and those can kind of finish off the rest of the base. Um, but yeah, that was that was really cool how um, how the golem was used to tank there, because we do not see that every day, um, and I'm, I'm excited to see the bad spell making a comeback because it's definitely a very creative uh, tool you have, and you can use it in a lot of interesting ways. So that would do it for today's video, guys. I guess in summary, when you're taking a look at these bases, um, I'd say just for sake of simplicity, your best bet is a hybrid or a Yeti or P.E.K.K.A. smash, and you want to look to either charge the queen, uh, the town hall with your queen and then maybe do something off of that or do a warden walk and then enter on the town hall side. Either way, um, you want to in some way get to the town hall early. Um, don't take the bait and go opposite town hall. Get the eagle um, with less DPS over there because your troops are going to be fizzled out by the time they get to the back end where there's a lot of damage. So you got to take that high DPS area head on 
um, and be creative with how you funnel into that and then beyond past the base. Um, and because there's so much front-ended by the town hall, the bad spell can be an effective tool to take out the back end of the base without having to invest as much troop space in that area. Because um, typically you just need to jump in a rage to get you going initially at the town hall entry. So I hope that all made sense, um, my two cents there uh, for how you should be taking out this type of base. And uh, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. That would be uh, unusual to see someone unsubscribed watching this video. But it does happen. So hit it if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bisectatron out.